blah, 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 blah. So we just watched the uh, little Nintendo Mini Direct that was on the 11th of January of uh, this year, 2018. Uh, I know that I watched this like earlier. Gabe had not watched it at the time, but I did want to get his like thoughts like across here. And I, at the same time, also like expressed my thoughts about the Direct. I don't know, Gabe, what do you think about all the, what you just saw? Um, People have mixed feelings. They're either like super excited or they're really not. I'm really not because I don't care too much about it. It's not that I don't care much about like what's going on. It's that it could be badass shit for the Xbox. I wouldn't care. Really? I wouldn't care until it happened. I'm like, oh, this is cool. Oh, okay. And only if I have it. So like all these games, I own none of them. And I can't buy and play any of them. So it's like, eh, it don't matter to me. Hmm. But if I had it and then, and then I get the Super Mario Odyssey, I'm like, cool, they added a new world. But I'd only be really, really stoked about it like once it actually came out. It's kind of cool. Right? Oh, I'm like, oh, this is new. That's great. Huh. I actually never really saw that perspective. I guess it, it really is based on people who do have like the system and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And they already have these games. Or, I don't know. Or rather, it's really the strong, strong opinion ones who get their point across like much, much more clearly, especially on social media. But a lot of people were not okay with this. And the reason was is because they were complaining about like ports to the uh, switch console instead of like a new new game specifically for the switch kirby star allies that was one mario of them. tennis aces east eight they yeah they yeah. mario they added snake heroines tag team frenzy mm-hmm. aka neo geo art of fighting 2 they well, um, that's also i don't know that, about that's that. a port i don't know about that well it probably is because it, like it has that it's a very classic esque, and I know at the SNK there there was a game before that. So mm-hmm. at the very least, when I heard about stuff. well, there there was a game before Super Mario Odyssey, and people were stoked about that. Well, I, I, don't, I don't. Oh man, I don't they know. made a sequel of a fucking I, I, game. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm, I see what you're getting at. Yeah. But let's see. There's Kirby Allies, Mario, East Eight, um, Snake Heroines, Akaneo Geo, Fee. I think Celeste already exists. And then that's it for things that mm. aren't like, oh, just a remake or a, a, um, yeah. a second port. Yeah. So that's six games right there. Mm-hmm. Um, their own titles, they have The World Ends With You, Pokemon Tournament, Kirby Star Allies, Dragon Quest Builders, Kirby Battle Royale, oh, Hyrule something. Warriors, Mario Tennis, East 8, Super Mario, Snake Heroines, Akaneo Geo, uh, Mario Rabbids, Fee, Celeste, and Donkey Kong Country. That's 15. And then, mm. as for their ports, they have Dark Souls, Payday yeah. 2. World Ends With You. That's a port. Well, that's... Pokken's technically a, a port as well, because they had it on the Wii U. Those are... Yeah, but those are ports... Those are ports from their own um, IPs. Oh, but the people are still complaining about that, too. <laughs> that's why... That's why the first thing I said was... um, New games. New games. The second thing I said was... Um, revamping their old ideas, mm-hmm. which was um, World Ends With You and all those other things like the um, Rabbids DLC, Celeste, Donkey Kong Country. But I'm talking about like ports that are like not exclusive only to Nintendo product. Mm-hmm. And then that's Dark Souls, Payday, and yeah. From what I'm looking at this, I actually think that although I understand why people get upset with that because it doesn't, it's not like a new new game. Mm-hmm. Especially from like a really big IP party like Zelda or Metro or something like that. I totally understand why they're doing this. Actually, I was very surprised with The World Ends With You. I know that was one of those games I missed out on. Mm. Uh, because at the time I had a DS game, but it was it was shared between me and my brother. Mm. And we were still relying on our dad for like these games. That was a definitely a surprising thing. Um, Mario Tennis Aces. I I I love Mario Power Tennis for the GameCube, so I'm like I'm totally down with this one. And they don't have overalls. They're in actual sporting fitting attires. And wow, he oh, he styled his hair. Yeah, definitely Dark Souls remastered. Um, that's I think a lot of people are more positive about that. This actually caught me off guard when I saw it, but people were speculating that. Oh, Dark Souls. Yes. Because I think I was like a little groggy when I watched this. Like, yeah, that's cool. 
but then when it gets to the part where they light the, the campfire, I was like, oh. I was like, oh. Oh. Oh, I guess I'm the only one who's not so excited because I have the Prepare to Die edition. <laughs> it came with Dark Souls 3, but... Uh, Tropical Freeze, I know that a lot of these, like Wii U ports specifically, people, it was either people who were okay with it or not, and I think it should be, people should be more okay with it because the Wii U didn't sell that well, and a lot of people will say that too, in the sense that for the games that came out on the Wii U that were really, really good, not a lot of people uh, bought it because they didn't want to buy the Wii U itself, so I think it's a smart idea for them to actually add more of these Wii U ports to the Switch. <clears throat> Smash Brothers for Wii U. Same idea with like uh, Mario Kart, just like, you know, it was, for the time it was released, it was really, really good. But it was on the Wii U, and not a lot of people played the Wii U. So it was a smart idea just to move it to an extremely popular console. From my, my perspective, this was actually a really clever uh, direct. I also just liked the presentation of this mini one in general, because it was just, it was fast, uh, didn't really try to elaborate too much on like one particular thing. It was like back to back to back. So like that Kirby Star Allies. I'm really looking forward to that. Huh. I'm the spider. Shooting with the web blast. I'm not the kind of spider. I'm not really excited about Mario Balloon or Luigi's Balloon World because it's it's not a new world. It's a um, it's an additional like multiplayer thing without added like integrated multiplayer. But moreover, it's like an interactive, um, what's the word? You're I guess hide and seek. Yeah, it's, it's hide and seek, but it's like leaderboard stuff. So it's about competing in that sense, but not like in real time. So I think that's my only thing. It's just like, it's, it's nice. It's just, it just is. I'm not really particularly interested personally. Mm -hmm. eh. I'm, oh yeah, Hyrule Warriors. I think that was actually a smart idea too, because again, uh, it was only for the Wii U and 3DS, but, I don't think a lot of people wanted the 3DS version, but just want an HD version. Mm -hmm. So, again, I think that was a smart idea for them to do this. Just so it can, like, line up itself with, like, Fire Emblem Warriors, which came out on the Switch. So, the Warriors um, series is starting to see a revival. And I just figured that it'd just be much better for all the Warriors games to just be on the Switch now. Especially with all the new content or the characters added in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pokemon tournament. Uh, Blastoise is cool. I like that. So Blastoise is playable. So we just need Venusaur, and that's like all three stars ready. The battle is just getting started. Hey, I mean you're right about that. Well, complete the trio. Why don't you? If you got Blastoise ready, you can add Venusaur though. Nobody wants to be a plant. Boy, he used that vine whip though. Oh, <laughs> right, payday two. Payday two was a random one. I have, I don't really have any kind of regards for that one because I never played it. I'm not really interested in playing it either, but it's, I mean, it's there. That's pretty much my take here. Uh, I think that it was a good idea for them to do all these ports, but also like announce these new games that aren't really specific, like Metroid Prime 4, which everyone's excited for, or like some new um, F-Zero game that's never going to come out. But if it did, everyone would be super excited about it. It's not only like that, but it's, announcing new games and ports that it's suitable for the switch right now and i guess we'll just wait until like e3 comes around they'll have like a new direct and we'll just kind of see what uh comes up from there that's probably where the big games are going to be shown also a lot of the games that they announced here is not coming into the winter time so it's focusing on a small like three months yeah so it's something that people can look forward to like close to immediate i think that a lot of people who are complaining about it should just be patient it's a lot of games that are there and they don't need to worry about it if they don't they're they not need interested to stop i mean come on they're adding games to your console would you rather wait would you rather them not have this list at all how many things are on there two four six eight ten, i think 12 14 there's 16 items on that list if they mm. only wanted brand new stuff where there's no ports no backwards compatibility no remasters and whatnot there'd be about four things on this list yeah what an exciting lineup coming in the next three months for well, brand new games you get to look forward to yeah but i i can understand their uh position their argument because I think we went through this too, as far as like comments, like in our reaction days, 
where it's like react to this react to this like no don't do that like have them react to this instead like why not have them both because like more videos here mean like less of this that could potentially come out right so it's like it almost seems like a tug of war i think is what i'm and saying see, that would make sense if it came down to nintendo saying okay well we'll have you guys port this and you guys port that have you work on this and have you work on that no these are all different companies making stuff for nintendo right. nintendo doesn't make dark souls port <laughs> the people that make dark souls make dark souls port <laughs> They're working on their own DLC for the Rabbids, Faye, Celeste, Donkey Kong, the Odyssey update, Mario Tennis, Hyrule Warriors, uh, Kirby's Battle Royale, Dragon Quest, Kirby Stars, Pokemon Tournament, and even The World Ends With You, I think someone would be working on that outside of Yeah, Nintendo, Nintendo right? Because Game Freak is definitely Square working Ames. on Pokemon Tournament. I think Nendo, Nintendo would work on Kirby zelda and mario and then everything else then, belongs to an entirely different, different company mm -hmm. and also like considering that there's a whole bunch of other like if not physical digital games that like are already like lined up in the uh, catalog for the switch already they're not like the next mario game i mean we already have that uh metroid or again <laughs> f-zero never coming out but there was also that like the pseudo f-zero game which almost like if added a little bit more to it, could actually be its own like full fledged game, and it looks good enough. I liked it more than F Zero. I think it was much more hectic than F Zero, which is why I, I like, liked it. I like the color changing aspect to it. I love that too. It was nice when I played it. It adds a gimmick instead of well, you're going really fucking fast, even though it doesn't look like you're going really fucking fast. Look at all these big numbers we're giving you. Don't you feel like you're going so fast, even though when you look around, it feels like you're going just as fast as the normal car. Oh, that's so cool, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> okay. Um, you didn't get my blood boiling. Freaking the that, that bootleg that, ass third party F Zero made my blood my blood boil because it's that like, was so crazy. Oh my god! There's nine pillars in the distance, and then you start coming near them, then you come near them, and then they're gone. It's like I didn't even see myself go past them. They were just there, and then not. You're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Of course, but yeah, yeah. It, it, man, when it comes to fast, you have to, you have to you have make to, it you have, feel like you're going fast, not just look like you're going fast. I think maybe that we're getting on something. Maybe a uh, little side thing, but Sonic the Hedgehog, maybe it shouldn't be a platform. Maybe it should just be a straight up like Sonic racing against several other Sonics. <laughs> well, we had a Sonic racing game and yeah. didn't run. I'm the fastest thing live. Well, let's go faster on these snowboards. <laughs> or car. <laughs> God, that was so... Mm. Yeah, maybe we just need Sonic to, like, not, not a mobile game, but just have a full-fledged Sonic running too fast. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. But, they just uh, need to work on the scalings of the background. Yeah. That one where he's, like, running through Manhattan and whatnot. Someone clocked it, and they're like, oh, he's not running this many thousand miles an hour he's only running about 50 60 miles an hour because they compared the building size to him and it's like hey, he's not running that fast <laughs> those buildings need to and gone uh that's pretty much it i think we covered everything as far as like this direct i think it's it's a pretty positive one like from both of us snake heroines has cute anime girls but once they're made 3d they didn't look as cute oh yeah that's right i'm actually really looking forward to mario like tennis aces and seeing like how well that plays I know it's that it's because it's got it's got a it's, tur turtleneck Waluigi. It's got a turtleneck Waluigi, and that like new hairdo. Yeah, dude, he he, he prettied himself up. Everyone everyone heard about his biz and said people are gonna judge me for that, so I might as well look pretty. Yeah, uh, he, he has your haircut, but longer. He's like, yeah, he does, and keeps it up. How did how did he do that? It just it dips down and floats up. But yeah, by the looks of it, it doesn't look like it's some kind of gimmick like um, how the the Wii port of like the game the GameCube one came out and mm -hmm. like 3DS version. And it was They're, real gimmicky. I don't think it was really gimmicky, but it didn't really play like the other Mario Power and tennis games. But mm. this looks like it's a return to form. I'm actually low key really excited to see Waluigi back <laughs> in a new game. <laughs> He'll probably get like a game for himself like later later. It's not the year of Waluigi yet. It's Waluigi button pressing simulator. <laughs> like it has to be. It has to be. 
It has to be in 2019 or 2022 because 2020 is too cool because it's 2020 huh. and 2021 is too cool because that's when everyone everyone born um last millennium can drink legally. 2022 is like that awkward Yeah, it's place. an awkward year that has nothing interesting happening for it. Okay, so Waluigi, you got to make it happen, my boy. It's either next year or 2022. But yeah, I guess I'll see what Waluigi does. And um, actually, I'm curious about Dragon Quest Builders. I know it's going to be like Minecraft or just like, you know, Dragon um, Quest-esque. But it, it always caught my attention, even when they announced it for like the PlayStation 4 and whatnot. East 8? Yeah, yeah East 8 kind of looked cool because it feels a little bit like Dragon Hunter. But you're like building a settlement as you go along. The more bullshit you go through the bigger your settlement becomes that's there mm-hmm. like it showed it and it starts off as whoa they're anime people again now oh yeah right what is it with japanese games starting like having anime cutscenes? people like you, anime <laughs> use your character use your character models you you put a lot of time and effort into them use them make them pretty final fantasy kingdom hearts they know what they're doing square enix everyone else they need to catch up but yeah so <laughs> You start off with nothing, and as you go through more bullshit, your settlement gets bigger, and it's like, oh, man, everyone's here. We're going to make a life here. And then the Leviathan comes and kills everyone. Game over. Game over. Start again. No, no start again. That, yeah. That's how the game ends. Roll credits. <laughs> Roll credits. End the story. Yep. It ends with East 8. Everyone dies from a Leviathan attack. Yeah, I'm interested in all these titles and see how they uh, are received by right. the public. Yeah. All right, before we end this, um, since we're on the topic of video games... Video How photos. would you feel if there's like some real big story driven game that has like a lot of action to it? Mm-hmm. And you know, like there's always the the mid game boss that you fight. Yeah. In like most games where it's like real action oriented, there's the there's the mini boss well, not the mini boss, but a major boss mid midway through the game and it's like, Oh man, this guy's really hard and it's like, haha, I put you in your place. You still got a long way to go before you can fight big bad up on the top of the mountain. Mm. And you're like, oh, yeah, you got a point. What if that mid-game boss really mattered in the fact that if you lose, game over, roll credits. Roll credits, no, end the story. And it deletes the save. I've been always, I think I mentioned it before, either podcast or just like talking to you on the side, but it's, it's a game that really matters because you only get one save file or one file. And you know what? I don't think it even really matters because, like, you can save and all that, but you can't reload it. So when you die, that's an actual death answer all the way over. Nice. <laughs> there's actually a game. There's a flash game out there called um, Only One Try. Yes. <laughs> Have you heard of it? Oh well, no, I never heard of it, but I get it. I like it. I dig it. <laughs> yeah. You you can only play the game once. We can only play the game once. Mm-hmm. Well, you can play it multiple times if you open up, if you download different browsers. So you can only play it once on Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, um, Internet Explorer. Explorer. Once you run out of... Microsoft Edge. <laughs> once you run out of Internet browsers, you're done. Because it saves itself to the browser that you've already played the game. Wow. And so... If you open up the game again, it shows the last scene. Wow. Like the game ends with just like a picture. Mm-hmm. And that's just what it is now every time you open up the game. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, mm. But I would like a game to where it's like. It's that. Difficult. Yeah. That, that mid that, that mid game boss that's usually there to put you push you down a few notches to make you re- reevaluate how strong you are in the game. Mm-hmm. I want it to matter. If you die, roll credits, that's it. I also would like to tweak that in the sense that it's a game where you're meant to die, but if you do, it's only because you know the the boss so well, and the game knows that. Mm -hmm. So it it commends you for taking on the challenge, right? Uh, But it knows you're different from like most other players in the sense that you had to die to go through this, so you're different. Let's give you a bigger challenge now. <laughs> or you know it'd be even greater mm. if the game if you play the game and whatnot, and it builds you up to like take on a world ender. Okay. Kind of like uh, how 
Final Fantasy 15 is, how Oblivion, or not Oblivion, how um, Skyrim is, where you fight someone who's just... World ending. Yeah, world ending. They're known to just be the most powerful thing, and they're I, unstoppable. I think all JRPGs do that. It's yeah. always like fighting against God. <laughs> yeah, and so you're fighting against this freaking demigod-esque character, mm-hmm. and it is a fight designed for you to lose. Mm-hmm. You're not meant to win. You lose, you lose, and... It starts the end animations. It goes through all the cutscenes. It does all this. The whole production is based around you losing. But if you try and you try like a son of a bitch and you somehow win, the game keeps going. There's more to the game. <laughs> it, that was what was perceived as the end of the game was mid game. <laughs> that was just, oh wow, that's like Pokemon Gold and Silver. B Elite Four, you got this. No, you don't. Kanto. <laughs> it's like, Kanto? I can see Mewtwo? <laughs> but, you, but you get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, and yeah. It's like, and almost no one knows about it because the boss is just so freaking hard. Oh, the worst. Where part. it makes Sans look like an easy guy. Yeah. <laughs> it makes him look like the training dummy at the beginning. That's how hard I want it to be, where there's no set formula on how he attacks. But if you've played enough and you've grinded enough and you could see the small little tails that this enemy has, you can dodge the attacks. You can outwit him and beat him mm-hmm. through all of your might. And that's only mid game. That's only mid game. I would. The I'll, whole world only knows that the first half of the game because no one's beaten it. Mm-hmm. And then you beat it for the first time and you're like, there's more to it. Guys, I've seen Beyond the Hill. <laughs> uh, but it's sad that how media is, um, is a big part of like our society, really, where it wouldn't be a surprise. Like The first person who does that, and it probably would take a while, but the first person who does that, he'll share it. And he'll also share, like, here's how you fight the mid-game boss. But here's the thing. The, on the how to beat the mid-game boss is always there. He always has his little tells on how you can dodge the attack. Mm-hmm. But he's so hard to beat because you do so little damage compared to his total health that it just takes so long. Eventually, your endurance runs out. And you're just like, I'm so tired of fighting this guy. I just yeah, want to give okay. in. Yeah, it has to be one of those things where it's like, even if you know how to beat him, it is so painstakingly like difficult to do it. It's an endurance match. Your resolve has to out outlast your mom's wanting to unplug your video game because you haven't done your chores in six hours. Six hours? I want it to be one of them freaking end game, or the one of those post-game Final Fantasy bosses where it takes you six hours to beat them. Even if you're max level doing right. doing pure damage. Doing that 99.9999 like attack. Yeah, them limit break attacks. And it's like, and no it's, fam. And it still takes you hours. <laughs> I want it to be like a three hour boss fight even if you're doing... 100% max damage that the game will code you to be able to give. Yeah. 15 also had that implemented, but there you had, you had the turtle. You had the turtle, but then you also had the Ring of the Sea. And you can one shot him <laughs> with that. I'm like, no, man. I don't want any. There's no object like yeah, that. Yeah, like there's the no shortcut, right? Yep. That was initially like conceived when they had like the that big old tur- turtle at the very end, but. Mm-hmm. I mean, sure, it'll take you five hours straight if you just kept wailing on it and healed yourself. But now you have the Ring of Lucy and it's, like, too much, too powerful. It's just like, oh. Because, like, there's... You've always had those games where it's like, well, I beat the big bad. I get this super badass weapon. There's no one to use it on. Right. That's why the big bad is just in the middle of the game. Mm. There's still more story. What happens after? Who comes then? Someone coming to dethrone you. It, it just yeah. it's a big old multiplayer thing yeah someone comes you oh you unlock multiplayer you unlock multiplayer r.i.p single player only people yeah you unlock multiplayer and the first person to beat the game they're the one that's the new big bad oh wow they're the new big bad so people who and so they they can just grind mm-hmm. they can grind and get stronger and stronger because they know one day Someone's going to join them. And when that day comes, they have to stomp them out like a roach. Except it's a really big roach. They're like, I need like 
I need to spend like 12 minutes on this. <laughs> like, like, think about that. How cool would that be? That'd be Everyone weird. perceives this single player game that ends with you losing. There's a multiplayer at the end. Of the I tunnel. like that. There's like, there's like the, the base of the game and there's a higher echelon that you have to like, it's kind of like, there's actually a balance in that in the sense that you need to be this good to go into this. It's and like, only the best. It's only the best people. You're the best so around. Th- no one's ever gonna keep you down. It's not like YouTube. It's you're here now. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, my son. Welcome, my son. We fight. <laughs> I also like the idea of just having a even more difficult like Dark Souls game that doesn't have like the bonfire. <laughs> Where it's like you. That's your first try. Let's go. You died? Oh, that's too bad. Start over. Um, what's it called? Far Cry Primal has that. Oh, it does They it? have a permadeath. Oh, wow, dude. No matter how far in the game you are, if you die, you're dead. Way to start a new game, buddy. <laughs> okay. Me and my brother played... We've never beaten Far Cry Primal. We've never come close. Because we only play permadeath, hardest difficulty. <sighs> that's crazy. There's but yeah. an achievement for it. Granted, even if there wasn't, that's what me and my brother would do because he and I are, are those guys that have to play games on hard. on ball kicking hard. I like more realistic difficulty. You, um. So, so this is definitely not a part of that. that yeah, anymore. okay. This is an entirely new discussion just on video games alone. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, let's end the uh, discussion. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to know like more things we do as far as discussion, please be sure to subscribe. Also, hit the uh, subscriber bell button just to know like when we uh, do things uh, by the minute. And also support our Patreon. So, thank you guys so much for watching this long-winded discussion, if you did. And we'll see you guys next one. Hashtag bye, everyone. Well, what I was thinking is we can keep this going and just kind of edit it.